Hi wacky weirdos, I keep getting asked how to do the flying potions, so I made this video for you. Let's go straight in. We're going to need a runway for these bad boys. First of all, use the bird and robux. This turns you into a flying robux. It's easy to do and is quite nippy. This is one of the first ones you can make, because of the ingredients. If you haven't got the robux yet, you will need to help kill the ogre, and then take the eyeball to Oz, the wizard, not the place from the movie. Flying like this, leaves a nice green vapor trail. The next one is a bit more complex. It has three ingredients, fairy, which is brew, and dynamite. It's called the broom potion, but it is also a killer. You can ride a broomstick like Harry Potter, but beware, if you crash into anything. Kaboom! The next two potions involve the bees. I will only show two because there are plenty of them. This one is available to everybody, because you just need to grab a sleepy bee, out of his hive. Put him in the pot, and you can get a bee disguise. This is used for the honey quest. With these potions, you have to direct the bee by aiming it where you want to go, rather than steering it with the keyboard, or movement keys on a phone or tablet. So once you have the honey, you can mix it with the bird, and get the buzzing potion. This is a nice one. It can get you up onto the higher levels, but the only downside is, you can't float in the air. Once you let go you will fall back down to earth. The other bee potion I want to show you, is the queenly potion. You need honey and robux. This turns you into the queen bee. It's a big bee, with a nice crown. The next potion is not so cute. You will need last year's pumpkin, with the witch's brew. It's another broom potion, but this time, it turns you into Glinda the witch. Now you will need to use a legacy ingredient, the undead skull. Add the bird, and you get your own skeleton wings. Great for Halloween. This one works like the buzzing potion, where you keep flying or drop to the ground. Now for a completely different approach. Fairy and the rarely used Egyptian head will give you a very nice magic carpet to sit on. Must be more comfy than a wooden broomstick between your legs. Have you seen all those bean drones, flying round when the volcano starts? Well, you can become one of them, if you use the coconut on its own. Not sure how a coconut becomes a bean though. Or how about flying around while standing on a blue orb, cool ha? Huh? Get the magic orb, and add a fairy and your wish is granted. Due to the current color of the sky, the orb looks purple.
sticking with the legacy ingredients, get a horseshoe, and add a fairy. If you like unicorns, then this is for you. If you like unicorns that leave a slug trail rainbow, then you're gonna go pop. If you ask me, it needs a couple of miniguns strapped either side with laser pointers, and some night vision goggles. But hey, nobody's asking me. Now I'm going to need a monkey paw, and add some witch's brew, to get myself a banana broom. Regular viewers will remember me using this one a fair bit recently. The girth gives you better comfort than the broomstick, but not as much as the carpet, although this one goes off after a week, and turns brown and mushy, which makes it feel like riding a deflated paddling pool. So hey Dave, I hear you scream, what if I want to stand up while flying, like a surfer? Okay, I got you covered. Use a shield and you can surf all day, without any water. Not sure why I'm hearing my footsteps though. And if you don't want to surf on a shield, maybe try the pencil. It looks more like a surfboard anyway. Get the pencil and add a fairy. Surf's up my dudes. Now we need to move on to the premium ingredients. Get the Zeus beard, and mix it with a bird, and you will be able to fly, as yourself, which is nice. The next one is my favorite, and the one I am currently using, which you haven't seen yet because the recording went belly up for the ghost update. Anyway, hat of gears and the bird again. For a jetpack. This potion is awesome for flying. Up and down really quickly and the speed is pretty good too, but the main thing I like, it actually looks convincing, and maybe more lifelike than the others. Great for collecting candy corns. So now, we are going to turn the great, into the ridiculous. Hat of gears, bird, and rotten sandwich, for the flying poo potion. Basically, a human flight potion powered by methane. And now for my least favorite, bird and steering wheel. This is probably the hardest one to use. It's like the bee potions, but harder to see where you are going, and actually, it's glitched, I can't stop. Proves my point. The alien parasite has been hibernating for some time, but now it gets to come out and play with the steering wheel. This is the UFO potion. 
crazy spacecraft with my head on top. No neck, just a head. Moving on to the superhero cape, which you would expect to have flying abilities. Mix it with a chili, and you will become the human torch. and staying with the cape, and adding robux, no idea how, but this becomes man bat. And this one is the same as the human flying potion, just different ingredients. Hacker and bird. This was the one I used all the time. This is quick and easy, assuming you have the hacker. That's a lot of flying, catering for everybody's tastes. Hit that subscribe button. Oops. Thanks for watching, see you soon.